Okay. Go. So Luke's car seat. Luke's car seat, ignore the piss stains. The belt is inserted thusly through the red clip. Pulled through the small hole. Et voila. Et voila. That's the easy one. And, and inserts into the regular seat belt receptacle on the other side. Hold on. Ignore the piss stain. <laughs> Six stains and the semen stain. Alright, so I'm just going to make sure the base is on the chair. Make sure the base is on the chair. Yeah. Don't this is... triangle the belt, it's got to be flat. Yeah. This bit's the bastard. Yeah, this is the hard bit. Now, if you look here, there's a, like a hole with a flap. You <laughs> might get your hand stuck in there. Yeah. You've got to push the seat belt the whole way through and then it comes out the hole the other side. Right. So in it guys, you've got to keep the whole thing flat. Strap it in. But then you've got to tighten it back up again and make loose look, get the slack. Yep. Pull it out this side. Right. And then what? Is that so, it? Yeah, come back around this side and you'll see there's no no twist in the belt. So it's tight, make sure that's tight so the so seat doesn't move. Yep. Yep. Pull that up. There's a red bit there. Yep. Pull that and that goes in the red. Again, pull up. Built in the red, nothing in this game for two in a bed. The side that Emma's car seat is on, the side the window's at, this has to be out. That's it. So, yeah, so I'm showing you how to right, put right. it out. Sorry. It's all right out now. That stays out. Right. So the window side. Yes. But that should stay out anyway. Okay. Yeah, and then that's Emma's done. Strap Emma in. Place child into the seat. Do you think we should get Emma out for this bit? No. Again, make sure the belt is completely flat, not twisted around. Mm -hmm. Together. Into the red. Done. Here. Mm -hmm. Pulls. Yes. And that'll go tight against Emma. Like James is tight. You should get two fingers yeah. behind it. That is all. And then, for God's sake, loosen it before you unclip it. The same, yeah, because yeah. you won't be able to get it back in again. Yeah. Same as James's. There's like a, a, a hole here. Yep. With the silver bit, you push the silver bit down. Mm -hmm. Not, don't pull the uh, the writing bit. Yes. You pull the belt. Yes. That will release the slack there and there. Yes. Under it, red, done. Please fasten your own oxygen mask before you attempt other people's. <laughs> Ta-da! James. James is coming see. All right, now, the base has to be as flat as possible. Flat as possible. The trouble is, different cars are different things, because that will be too, he'll be tilting up too much if yes. it's completely flat. So what I tend to do is, as much of that flat as possible. Yep. It doesn't matter about a bit of a gap. Yep. Hood always has to be up, fully mm -hmm. up. And then pull the whole belt out. The whole belt. Again, keeping it flat. Flat. If you hold them two pieces together. Those two bits. Over the belt, over his lap. The bottom bit, tuck there. Under and under. The big bit, round the back. So I come on the other side, you can see how it configures. Yeah, come on the back. Yeah. And once it's round the back, it goes into there. Yep. Top and bottom. Top and bottom. And then, and only then, <laughs> clip it in. But have you shown how the behavior one under, one over on the back as well? Yeah, it's automatic. One over one, it goes under one and over the other, doesn't it? Yeah, so as you see, the belt goes yeah. under one of them and over the other. So the two knobs on the back. Under one, over the other. To be fair, I usually forget to do that and it's fine. But you should do it anyway. Just tighten it up. Tighten it all up. Pull what? Pull the slack up on there so yep. it pulls it back into there. Yeah. That one's in. And then we've just got to show the clicking together just for a moment. Oh yeah. Oh, 